Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I think Pixie's frozen to the ground. Oh, no, wait, no, she's moving. Wicket, what about you? Okay. Whew. 2013 is turning out to be quite a bright year so far. Brilliant! And yet, cold. I'm not sure if you're able to see how much frost is on the ground right now, but we're just north of 30 degrees. The roads aren't too slick, though. Wow, hang on. Look at that frost. Okay, back to me. Uh, taking a call in relation to my CES trip. I'm sponsored by AMD. I don't know if you guys are planning on being at CES, but you are more than welcome to stop by my area. I'll be with AMD. You can say hi. We can hang for a bit. Well, I heard the dog barking. Ah, there we go. Hey, how are you? There's nothing else out there. Just me. And the cars. Hmm. Nothing exciting ever comes through this door. Except for Mommy, and she's already upstairs. Let's see if she's doing fine. Hun? Hun? Hope she's still alive. I know she said she'd die without me, but this is a little extreme. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's taking a shower. So they have a busy week, too. Yeah, well, they don't really have to do anything. We're dropping them off at the pet hotel Sunday, right before we take off. And Saturday they have a haircut. Yes. Uh-oh, can you handle that, Wiki? I think he's going to need to handle it. Where's the mat on his ear? It's right here. He's got a boy growing out of his ear. We named him Matt. Do you think it hurts him? <laughs> <laughs> no, his hair is matted. Or fur. It's not hair, is it? But when I touch it... It shouldn't hurt him. They'll be able to cut it on. I'm sure they deal with mats all the time. Should I put it right now? Pixie on the... No, just wait. Let it be handled by a professional, hon. Pixie's under the desk. She thinks it's a bomb shelter. Mustache. He's showing you teeth, hon. Don't bite me. Baby, I found a nail salon for you. You did? Yeah, I emailed it to you. Even though I don't expect that you're going to see the email or at least I'm respond to my email. I'm making lunch, that's why I can't oh, check my email. I'm sorry, baby. You can continue to make lunch. What happened? You know you're a lot like a pet. Right! <laughs> I have to feed you. I'm humping the counter. Yeah. It's a horrible thing to do. Refried black beans. Works for me. I like beans. I'm your fart machine. It's a lot like a love machine, only, uh... Only stinkier. Broccoli, too. Yeah, I think that's for tonight. Okay, and I see we have two gigantic pieces of meat in the fridge. They're oh. marinating. I know that's not blood, it's... That's fine. <laughs> Even if it was blood, honey, it's steak. Oh, I take it the eggs were bad. I didn't want to chance it, so I'm gonna make a quesadilla. They're a little past due. I'm gonna make a quesadilla. Gotta send the iPad Mini off to the giveaway recipient, who, by the way, happens to work for Horizons for the Blind. So, wow, that's quite uh, an admirable career choice, I would say. So yeah. he's quite deserving. Byron Lee, who is participating live, too, in the yeah, subservient Chris won. New Year's Eve. He was shocked. He was like, what? Yeah, completely at random. One of the retweeters. And then someone offered to buy my old netbook, which still works. During the home office tour, I showed off a couple products that I wanted to sell, including my T3i, which no one's picked up yet. But uh, the netbook was one of them. I haven't used it in forever pretty much since first getting it and didn't think I could get a good offer on it but he made a good offer including shipping and handling so I'm selling my netbook I'm coming downstairs to find the box or see if I still have the box for the thing this is why I hold on to boxes for things that I know I could resell at some point in the future 
That's not a quesadilla. It's a yay sedia. Yay! Sedia, where'd you go? Which mail? This one? Why do you never check the female? She's so sexist. My email. Yeah, your email too. And hard of hearing. I'm gonna check my email. Despite not having left the house today, it's been quite frantic. If I'm not replying to emails or taking phone calls to do meetings, I'm getting things set and staged for our trip next week to CES. And uh, I think most everything is handled, although I forgot to get enough business cards. Diana has never had a business card, so I've got to figure something out at the local printing shop. Something last minute. It's not going to look great, but it should work. Why do we even need business cards anymore? I hate business cards. I mean, yeah, handing it to someone, but inevitably, it's just going to get shoved in a drawer. If you want to connect with me, just use social media or my email address. I share that with everybody. So if you ever ask me for a business card and I say I don't have one, do not be offended because it may be true, I may not have one. I also have to stop by the mailbox, the bank, and one other place. Today was a Monday. Despite it being a Wednesday, it was Monday. Diana wanted to stay at home to watch some kind of trial. I don't, she can't find it. I don't even know what she's talking about. I guess another one of those high profile cases on TV or the internet. I don't know, drama. I've got enough of it in my own life. I don't need to view anybody else's. You know what? I think I'm gonna skip making the business cards. I don't think we'll really, 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 really need them. And besides, I would want Diana to have the ability to create her own first business card because I am not a good designer and she may want things on the card that I just wouldn't even think of. It's a butterfly. She's chopping broccoli and opening the gift I got for her with black diamonds on a butterfly. Spread my wings and fly. Yeah, those are real black diamonds. Are they real? Yeah. So be very careful with that. They go well with broccoli <laughs> and another iPhone case. That's a gift from somebody else. I think we're good on iPhone cases for now, folks. Except I still need one for my five. <laughs> Maybe I'll find some at CES. I'm sure there will be plenty. They have an entire pavilion just for iPhone accessories. It's huge. Pavilion? Yeah, no, a whole pavilion. We're beyond kiosks here. <laughs> I've got fuzz in my <laughs> mouth. Are you winking at me? <laughs> my eyes are dry, baby. I didn't sleep last night. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. As we wait for Diana to begin and complete the dinner preparations, let me go ahead and show you a few of the postcards we've received recently, including this Merry Christmas and Happy New Year card from Mariko and Charles. They be in Hawaii. Here's one from Macedonia. Zalate or Zlate is holding on to a hamster? John sent us this shot from Trail Ridge in the Rocky Mountain National Park, Colorado. Hey, it's Coffeehouse Beagle. He used to go by a different name, and this guy puts a video response to just about every one of the videos I put on YouTube. The sender asks, isn't this pretty? Yes, it is. That's my answer. Before I share the next one, I need to take a swig. <sighs> Here's a snapshot of Josh's geeky equipment. Go ahead and try to say that one three times fast. Just so you know, Vincent, no matter how old you are, we always appreciate the likes. Here's a rather sweet picture from Mustafa. Some Android sweets. Oscar and Atsiri ask if we've had any Enfrioladas. I don't think we have. In fact, I don't think I've ever said that word. My face is in Elliot's hands. He used the Locker Gnome app, which is free, by the way, for both iOS and Android at this point. Let me guess, David. You're a geek. You have all kinds of products, and you know what that makes you? Awesome! I love you more than I did before. You do? Well, yeah. This is a steak. Oh, you're right. I heard it moo. Oh, wait. No, that was the broccoli. You know what I don't like? What? The fact that I stepped in water. But you know what I hope everybody likes? What? 
this video.